What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of the shop build. We've got a slab, we've got a foundation, we got a floor, uh, and uh, really excited to start to see the dimensions take shape and get an idea of where things might go down the road once the shop is finished, tool layout, and all that kind of stuff. So let me talk a little bit about that, and then uh, we'll keep going and updating as we get construction. So here is the concrete freshly poured, uh, or freshly, a few days ago. It's now dry and cured. Uh, this is again the outdoor kitchen. I'm really happy with it's actually larger in person. I know how the dimensions obviously, but space wise, it's gonna work really, really great. What we'll do is uh, put a grill here uh, and then I'll build kind of an outdoor cedar bar type thing um, for storage right there. And that'll be a nice little outdoor kitchen for grilling. Maybe get a smoker, who knows? Uh, also, kind of got to do this, which was really fun. Um, mine and my daughter's handprints and then my wife's because she came home from work a few hours late uh later than we did this late in the pour so she still got her handprints in there but that was really exciting kind of personal and meaningful to me but here is the slab major things that have happened this week one is we've done all the gutter routing so here there there's one on that corner and one on that corner um they've run uh, vented pipe and um kind of open pipe all the way down here french drain kind of a little bit to relieve some pressure here and then back here in this dirt area that's now flat are eight foot holes that have gone down to uh drain into so they can drain into the groundwater without having any erosion happening also so it's not just a french drain that runs out here and creates any erosion um those dive down over there another one dives down this backside and then the last couple days they brought in a ton more gravel and covered up this gravel here I covered up that piping so this is there's piping running all down here into those drains uh that's pretty much i mean that's kind of setting ourselves up here for uh the major framing which is coming next uh should be starting framing tomorrow uh, i have some other infill here some stabilization and then just infill here to fill in back those holes my wife and i mostly my wife uh, i helped with the sawzall but we took out a invasive tree here did a bunch more little landscaping around the property but now all the all the drainage is done and uh, ready to start framing so that takes us to the other big thing that's been done here and taken off all the siding everything back to the shiplap here on the back and cut the roof flush you see why it's tarped here because the shiplap um, actually has um, pretty good seams in it so there's basically a lattice work from the inside of the shop um, and then cut the roof flush they're going to cap this gutter so this gutter will run down here this gutter here on the back side will be uh, capped and they'll run a gutter down there and then this gutter will come from uh, a combination of the roof line that comes down over this prop part of the shop and then the rest of the gutters on that half of the shop but the big thing has been obviously cutting this roof back um, and then going back to the uh, the framing big progress this last week um, got a bunch of stuff delivered a bunch of stuff figured out a bunch of stuff ordered and we got a bunch of framing done let me show you around uh, what we got ordered and what we started so amazing progress uh, these last few days really starting to see the shop take shape as four walls have been most of the framing done uh, they started here with this wall facing us, uh, closest to us right now, and uh, really excited because it gives a real con idea of what the size of this building is going to look like, what the shape is, how much space there's going to be on the inside. So this main wall facing the rest of the yard here uh, is the main kind of aesthetic display wall. It's going to have big 4x8 windows. Those are those three-way sliding windows right there, and then our French door here, uh, the jams or the... Uh, aperture for that door has been put in and what i love what's really striking is how tall these ceilings are going to be so these are 12 foot ceilings on the side it'll go to 14 feet at the peak in the middle with a vaulted ceiling on the inside and that's just giving us tons of space lots of headroom uh, really feeling open and airy in the shop and uh, not really feeling cramped and like you're in a cave which is kind of how the shop is right now and if we head up into the shop there'll be a little teeny patio here you know two or three feet and then a few steps but if we step up here into the shop we'll get a chance to see what the face looks like on the inside you can see these window openings again these windows are get are at counter height so that we can put a miter saw station or benches and those kind of things right up against the window without blocking any of that beautiful light coming in uh these beautiful 12 foot ceilings here or 12 foot uh, walls 
uh, are just looking awesome. And then again here, this, this is the part that hasn't been framed out yet, as well as some other accoutrement here and there. But this is where our door opening will be into the other part of the shop. Um, this window aperture is done. This is a nice big picture window, going to be looking in from the house. And then the only other two windows are these two high windows. You can actually see where the one here is on the left. Um, that's like going to be kind of a small window there, about 20 inch by four foot. And there'll be another one there as well, just to let some natural light in while blocking sound going to the neighbors and also so that there aren't windows looking right into the neighbors. So this yard. was done in about two and a half days. Um, this wall went up in about a day and then finished all the detail work. They have to do details and blocking on this wall as well. And obviously finish the window openings here on that side and finish that uh, west facing wall. Let's head out here and we kind of see uh, one of the things we ordered few different things one we've ordered our windows for here and here this is a pretty standard size window but we had to these are custom windows here because they are three panel uh, both sides this side and that side will slide open to the middle and then we went with the douglas fir uh trimmed door so i'm really excited to see that especially matching with the darker color of the home which the siding will match on this building to that one as well the other thing we did this week is we met with the electrician and i started talking to seattle city light our power company here to figure out um, increasing the service panel so that we can have 100 amps directly to the shop uh, and put it on a sub panel so the shop has its own sub panel separate from the rest of the home and just waiting on the city to get back to us to let us know if there's a uh, uh, 200 amp drop from the street from the actual power pole or if that's something we need to adjust and add so that we have a little more uh, power supply to the shop and then we also know the electrician to start talking about where the outlets are going to go and as that kind of goes going along i'll uh, update you here as well but huge progress let's see what happens over the next few days well it's the end of the week here uh at the shop build awesome progress this week i mean it's pretty much framed out um let me flip you around show you what they did end of this week all the little details and really great to start to feel what the space is going to look like let me uh flip you around on this the camera framing is done uh they finished blocking out these windows and then put all the crowns on and in the last two days basically they were putting plywood up so they've done all this side plywood here all the way up to the top of the roof our windows here windows and doors and obviously this window opening as well they've started to put in studs for this door this is where our door opening is that connects the two shops so it's really cool to start thinking about this is over in the corner here by this window to current shop uh, where things are going to go and how much space we're going to have. I think this area is going to be primary assembly, maybe a rolling assembly table here. Uh, this area right here will be outfeed, uh, table saw work, dust collector back, back corner here probably, and that way we can run dust collection up the wall and down that uh, the corner before the vaulted ceiling and then do drop over here. We can run it along this wall over here, uh, drop down these to here, to either um, probably the joiner, planer machine here, and then maybe have a floor sweep here or something. Um, and then obviously our drop for our um, table saw can go here, band saw will go there, and then we're probably gonna get a um, drum sander that will probably go over there as well. Uh, bandsaw might go against this wall so we'll probably do another drop into the corner and then a flex tube so that's exciting to start thinking about as well so that's gonna be it for this episode uh, where we started out a slab now we have three and a half walls built with all of our window and door openings and uh, we'll update you next week oh, we I say we business but contractors um and the laborers are doing all of the job all of the hard work um we is sailor sea woodworks generally but shout out to them they're they're crushing it josh at uh worth construction is doing a phenomenal job with everything and uh his team is just creating a beautiful future for Sailor Sea Woodworks. So we'll catch you next episode. Thanks so much for following along. Thanks for all the support as always. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.